Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year's. So today's video is a little bit different to my normal style of video, but I really, really want to start doing like charity shopping guides because I live in Edinburgh and there's loads of like really good places to go charity shopping. But I'd like create like a little series and show you where you can go charity shopping basically. So we're going to start off in a place called Stockbridge in Edinburgh, which is pretty near where I live, not to like give away where I live. So I thought I'd start off by just showing you all of the charity shops in this area. If you don't know Edinburgh, basically Stockbridge is a long high street and it basically has loads of charity shops down it. And yeah, I really hope you find it useful. Let me know if there are any specific areas that you want me to test out. I'm gonna try going into Morningside next and doing a video there. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media and subscribe. We just hit 800 followers, which doesn't seem like a lot compared to like all of these other people that have like thousands of subscribers, but to me, it means the world, so thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So I started off in the Deborah charity shop. There wasn't that much stuff that I liked here, but still a really, really great charity shop. Then went to Bernardo's. Again, I didn't find anything that I liked, but lots of quite good basics. I also found this belt that I quite liked, and I found these really funny shoes that looked like tabbies, and then, yeah, just some other random stuff that was all right, but nothing really caught my eye. Then moved on to Cancer Research, a cute skirt, cute scarf. I found some trousers from Urban Outfitters that still had their labels on, which kind of made me sad because it just shows the effects of like overconsumption and micro trends. Anyway, I found this really cute Wimbledon top, thought it was a bit expensive for what it was, and didn't think I'd wear it that much. And then there was those cute boots and ties. Again, didn't buy anything just because I couldn't see myself wearing it. I then went to Mary's Living and Giving Shop, which is a Save the Children shop, I think. This has always been one of my favorite charity shops and they actually had quite a lot of good pairs of jeans. They had this like Levi's t-shirt, lots of kind of random old tops that I wasn't a fan of. I like this cardigan for like ballet core. Oh yeah, I found these Wrangler jeans, which I tried on, but they were actually like way, way, way too big for me and like I thought I could make them work but I thought I'd just leave them for somebody who could probably get more use out of them than me. Then I went to British Red Cross and this is where we struck goals. There are a couple of cute jackets and I really liked the colorway of this kilt. They had lots of cool accessories as well and I really, really, really liked these boots. I then saw some jeans in the men's section that had this like green stitching and oh my God, I turned them around and they were bloody Ivisu jeans. Literally, thank you so much to the thrifting gods because these are perfect. I'm absolutely obsessed. They're a bit long for me, but they fit so nicely. This just shows the amazing things you can find thrifting. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk anymore, so just enjoy this little montage of of the rest of the charity shops that I visited. I'll put a list of all of the names of them in the description, but I thought I'd just show you what I got. Um, I'm filming in my kitchen and the acoustics might be really, really weird, but this is the best place for lighting when it's like pitch black outside. But I only found one thing, which I already showed in the video, but I thought I'd just show them again so we could have all of the fun details and stuff. So I literally was in the British Red Cross and I was in the men's section. I saw these jeans with like green stitching and then like the kind of carpenter detail, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Pick them out, turn them around, and they were like bloody Ivisu jeans. Oh my days. Okay, I'll show you all of the details. Okay, so they've got this kind of like lime green stitching. Love the shade of denim as well. I'm obsessed with dark denim and I kind of prefer it to lighter denim, so I'm really, really thrilled with the color of these. Got the little Ivisu label on the inside and then another one there. And then look at the little buttons. They literally say Ivisu on them. There's no zip and it's just all buttons, which is kind of annoying, but like it doesn't really matter because they are literally Ivisu jeans. And then they've got these like pocket details on the front. And they've got two pockets, which are really cute. Also, excuse my horrible nails. 
they look disgusting. And then obviously we've got the little Ibisu logos on the back. I'm really happy that they're white because it means it kind of goes with everything. One of my favorite things about it is it's got this little buckle detail on the back and then it's obviously got the Ibisu patch. I posted a TikTok of me finding them and some people commented that they were fake. But I did some research and I found some people selling similar ones for like quite a lot of money so I'm presuming that they're not fake. I really really hope not but yeah. I only found these and that just shows that it's not always like successful. Like you're not always going to come back with bags and bags of finds. But yeah I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I really enjoyed making it actually. Let me know what your best ever treasure shop find is in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye!